Nuclear medicine physicians are medical specialists that use traces, usually radiopharmaceuticals, for diagnosis and therapy. Nuclear medicine procedures are the major clinical applications of molecular imaging and molecular therapy. In the United States, nuclear medicine physicians are certified by the American Board of Nuclear Medicine and the American Osteopathic Board of Nuclear Medicine. History In 1896, Henry Becquerel discovered radioactivity. It was only a little over a quarter of a century 1925 until the first radioactive tracer study in animals was performed by George de Hevesy, and the next year 1926 the first diagnostic tracer study in humans was performed by Hermann Blumgart and Otto Jens. Some of the earliest applications of radioisotopes were therapy of hematologic malignancies and therapy of both benign and malignant thyroid disease. In the 1950s radioimmunoassay was developed by Solomon Burson and Rosalind Yallow. Dr. Yallow was co-winner of the 1977 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine Drive. Burson had already died so was not eligible. Radioimmunoassay was used extensively in clinical medicine but more recently has been largely replaced by non-radioactive methods. In 1950, human imaging of both gamma and positron emitting radioisotopes was performed. Benedict Cassin's work with a directional probe lead to the development of the first imaging with a rectilinear scanner. Gordon Brownell developed the first positron scanner. In the same decade 1954, the Society of Nuclear Medicine SNM was organized in Spokane, Washington USA, and 1958, Hal Anger developed the gamma scintillation camera, which could image a whole region at the same time. Initial introduction of radioisotopes into medicine required individuals to acquire of a considerable background information which was foreign to their medical training. Often a particular application drove the introduction of radioisotopes into a health care facility. As other applications developed the physician or group that had developed knowledge of and experience with radioisotopes usually provided the new service. Consequently, the radioisotope service found homes in several established specialties, commonly in radiology due to an interest in imaging, in pathology, clinical pathology due to an interest in radioimmunoassay, and in endocrinology due to the early application of 131I to thyroid disease. Nuclear medicine became widespread and there was a need to develop a new specialty. In the United States, the American Board of Nuclear Medicine was formed in 1972. At that time, the specialty include all of the uses of radioisotopes in medicine, radioimmunoassay, diagnostic imaging, and therapy. As use of and experience with radioisotopes became more widespread in medicine, radioimmunoassay generally transferred from nuclear medicine to clinical pathology. Today, nuclear medicine is based on the use of the tracer principle applied to diagnostic imaging and therapy. Topic: Practice. Topic: Procedures. Examples of the most common clinical nuclear medicine procedures are glucose metabolic imaging with 18F fluorodeoxyglucose (FDG) for cancer, myocardial perfusion imaging for coronary artery disease, and skeletal imaging for both benign and malignant bone disease. Examples of common procedures are brain perfusion and glucose metabolic imaging for seizure and dementia, blood pool imaging for myocardial function and gastrointestinal bleeding, gastric emptying studies for gastroparesis, hepatobiliary imaging for acute cholecystitis and gallbladder dysfunction, lymphocintigraphy for sentinel lymph node biopsy, parathyroid imaging for hyperparathyroidism, pulmonary perfusion and ventilation imaging for 
for pulmonary embolism, renal function imaging for various renal disorders, thyroid imaging for hypothyroidism, thyroid whole body imaging for thyroid cancer, urinary tract imaging for vesicoretral reflux, and white blood cell studies for infection. Examples of uncommon but valuable procedures are octreotide or NETSPOT imaging for somatostatin receptors found on the surface of many tumors, meta-iodobenzylguanidine imaging for neuroendocrine tumors, heat-damaged red blood cell imaging for identifying ectopic splenic tissue, and gastric mucosa imaging for Meckel's diverticulum especially in pediatrics. Examples of radionuclide therapeutic procedures are 131I treatment of hypothyroidism, 131I treatment of thyroid cancer, and radioimmunotherapy with 90Y ibrutumomab tiaxetin and 131I tocitumomab therapy of low-grade non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Instrumentation. <inaudible> 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 Planar imaging Most radionuclides give off gamma rays when they decay. A two-dimensional image of the radionuclide distribution can be made with a gamma camera, often called an Anger scintillation camera after its inventor, Hal Anger. Single photon emission computed tomography SPECT multiple planar images taken from different angles around a patient can be reconstructed to form a stack of cross-sectional, tomographic images. Positron emission tomography PET Some isotopes emit positrons the antimatter equivalent of an electron when they decay. The positrons travel a short distance in tissue and then annihilate with an electron giving off two nearly back-to-back -back gamma rays. Positron emission tomography takes advantage of these back-to-back -back gamma rays to localize the distribution of the radioisotopes. Combined molecular and anatomic imaging, SPECT, CT, PET, CT, and PET. The advantage of nuclear medicine is that it provides molecular and physiologic information, but it is relatively poor at providing anatomic information and the resolution is relatively poor. In recent years, instruments have been developed which allow both radioisotope and anatomic imaging. Most widespread are PET, CT scanners combining PET and computed tomography. Increasingly common are SPECT, CT scanners. Instruments combining PET with magnetic resonance, PET, MRI, are starting to be used. Non imaging instrumentation on imaging instruments are used for measuring radioisotope doses, for counting samples, for measuring thyroid uptake of radioiodine, for measuring sentinel lymph node uptake during mastectomy procedures to and for radiation safety. Training In the United States, the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education and the American Osteopathic Association Bureau of Osteopathic Specialists accredit nuclear medicine residency programs, and the American Board of Nuclear Medicine and the American Osteopathic Board of Nuclear Medicine certify nuclear medicine physicians. After completing medical school, a postgraduate clinical year is followed by three years of nuclear medicine residency. A common alternate path for physicians who have completed a radiology residency is a one-year residency in nuclear medicine, leading to sub-specialty certification by the American Board of Radiology. A less common path for physicians who have completed another residency is a two-year residency in nuclear medicine. Other professionals Nuclear medicine procedures are performed by nuclear medicine radiographers, who require extensive training both in underlying principles physics, instrumentation, but also in the clinical applications. Nursing support, especially in the hospital setting, is valuable, but may be shared with other services. 
Nuclear medicine is a technology embedded specialty depending upon a large number of non physician professionals, including medical physicists, health physicists, radiobiologists, radiochemists, and radiopharmacists. Residency trained nuclear medicine physicians have the most extensive training and highest level of certification, including all aspects of diagnosis and radionuclide therapy. However, current U.S. regulations do not prohibit other physicians from interpreting nuclear medicine studies and perform radionuclide therapy. Radiologists who are not sub-specialty trained in the specialty, nonetheless often limit their practice to practicing nuclear medicine. Some cardiologists, especially non-invasive cardiologists, will interpret diagnostic cardiology studies including nuclear medicine studies. Radiation oncologists perform all forms of radiation therapy, sometimes including radionuclide therapy. Some endocrinologists treat hyperthyroidism and thyroid cancer with 131I. The mix of physicians rendering nuclear medicine services varies both between different countries and within a single country. See also Radiographer